Harsha Sen, and uh, today we are talking to someone who is considered one of the most uh, important voices, especially in Indian independent cinema, and has made a significant contribution to the representation of the marginalized communities in Indian films. Um, we know him for films like My Brother Nikhil, uh, which dealt with sensitive topic of homosexuality and HIV AIDS. Um, this was followed up by his other sig significant films, such as uh, Basekpal, Sorry Bhai, and of course, How Can We Forget I Am, the award-winning film that uh, deals with issues such as homosexuality, child abuse, and corruption. Um, apart from uh, films, Honor has been very active and uh, you know involved in various social causes and activism. He is also uh, one of the most well-known advocates for LGBTQ rights uh, back in India. Welcome to uh, Australia, Honor. Thank and you, Tosha. It's a pleasure talking to you. Uh, thanks for talking to us at Indian Link. Um, you know. You are here at a time where um, Sydney is celebrating World Pride, you know. Um, but I, I understand that you are still in Melbourne and you yes. plans of visiting Sydney. You know? No, you know, the thing is, if I knew before, I would have planned my trip accordingly, but I had no idea. So I'm leaving for India on the 25th. So unfortunately, I will not be able to witness the Mardi Gras, Mardi Gras or the Pride, World Pride. But but I saw you did visit the Melbourne Pride. Today. Yes, yes. Was so that that, it was, you know, uh, it was beautiful also because, you know, I was just standing by the road, uh, you know, street and watching. It was beautiful, you know, what is special about uh, Pride March here and different from what is happening in India still is it's a very small group of people from the community who walk in India and here to see it's almost like the entire city is celebrating queer identity and you see children, you see old people, you see people on wheelchairs, people from different communities, uh, race, come together to celebrate identity. And I think it's beautiful. And uh, as like I was standing at the street and suddenly when the South Asian uh, you know, group came, uh, they, some of them recognized me and dragged me to walk with them, which was really, really nice. That's amazing. And, you know, uh, talking about World Pride, um, have you been to any of the World Pride uh, uh, festivals that have uh, been organized around the world? Uh, I, I have not been at anything which is called World Pride, but I've been to, like, really... Uh, like Pride Marches in Berlin quite a few times, which is huge, you know, uh, the pr Pride March there, apart from, of course, in India. And I have been to Pride March in San Francisco, which is, of course, very, very special. So you've added Melbourne to that list. Yes. Absolutely. I wish there was a Sydney too. Um, <laughs> yeah. but, uh, you know, talking about your... Um, why are you here to uh, in in Australia talking about my Melbourne? Um, can, what all can you tell us about what's happening with? Uh, I think it's a very very special film. Which you know when Mitu reached out to me, that mind blowing film wants to do this film, which has, which is a film basically that celebrates diversity and inclusion, and it has four filmmakers: me, Kabir Khan, Rima Das, and Intiaz Ali. Uh, celebrating different aspects of diversity and inclusion. And uh, it's about us as mentor directors working with an entirely Australian cast and crew and a mentee director. And I think it's a very beautiful way of cross-cultural exchange. And today the world is getting smaller and smaller and it's good for the crew out here to also have a different experience in terms of knowing uh, different ways of working and looking at things uh, the way the world's largest film industry works, you know. And at the same time, it empowers, um, uh, you know, for us, 
also like yeah, indian cinema is being shot all over the world so it like you know i feel when we come and work with a crew here they also get to understand our needs our way of working and it becomes easier for uh, you know also at possibilities of them coming and working in india uh, with you know so i think it's a very uh, very very important and very very beautiful project in various levels um did it by any chance remind you of your days while you were learning the craft from your masters or the, the eminent filmmakers that you've worked with you know and um, also the fact that how things have changed because um, uh, back in the day i am sure um, you have faced a certain discrimination because you know you were uh, from the queer community and i'm sure like while learning you have also faced all of that so i mean does this experience remind you of your days as um, a, a mentee and well, honestly not because i've never really worked as an assistant director i have trained in filmmaking and started working as head of department in editing and you know various departments right. and then i just ended up making my own film so i've never really worked as a assistant to any uh, any director okay. uh, and also this is very different and one of its kind because uh, you know one didn't have mentor directors to you know but i have uh, in like over the years that i worked in uh, been a mentor to all my assistants you know mm -hmm. a lot of them are very successful for makers now so for yeah. me it was just extending what i anyway do in india with my team with a team which is foreign mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. uh, in a different setup so it was not really uh, it didn't remind me of my journey but it is basically more to do with the way i anyway loved uh, working where i feel that it is the job of a filmmaker to empower his team so that they slowly become independent filmmakers themselves and and uh, talking about this particular film um how uh, like have you already done with most of the work most of the shoot and where... we've completed we just completed shoot a couple of days back okay okay and yeah. uh, you will be coming back again for the post production or you are leaving it <laughs> Yeah. no i uh, uh, like i am involved in the entire post production uh, you know process and that of course will take time because now the second film uh, with rima is starting off and then imtiaz and kabir so once all the four films are ready we'll figure out how to inter you know how to intertwine the stories so that they become one film okay okay so uh, you know i talking about world pride again coming back to world pride do you see something like that happening in india in the near future you know uh, near future i'm skeptical because of the way things move in india we take a step and then take three steps back yeah, the kind of resistance that is happening to same sex marriage and other civil rights to adoption is not uh, great you know it's not there's too much of resistance there's constant resistance against trans rights and transphobia manifesting in different ways in india and i think that's very problematic you know s simple things like you know i think yesterday only in the nagpur police has banned a trans people from begging mm -hmm. so it is uh, it is not that they're banning begging in general but it is discriminatory because it only targets trans people Uh, without even thinking of how they can be rehabilitated first, so I feel that a lot of these things are happening in a uh, Mizoram, a shelter house that the government had uh, promised and allocated funds for, uh, was suddenly cancelled because there were protests by the Christian community there about a shelter house for the queer community so i feel that there's a lot of resistance happening right now because the community is rightfully seeking its space mm -hmm. uh, so change will take time it will happen but it will take time you're hopeful of that of course
<laughs> that's great um also i i since you work in this industry that is uh, you know a sort of been um, uh, an inspiration to many um, all across the world, especially the diaspora looks up to the Indian film industry, you know, and uh, the kind of films that are being made compared to what was being made before, you know, the community was looked down upon or was laughed at. Now we have more progressive films, more um, mainstream films taking up these issues and you know, uh, the community's issues and not making fun, you know, and you have sort of started that entire change, you know, by making the movies that you have made. Um, how long has the industry uh, come so far and what do you see in future? I see the industry just like there was a point when, uh, you know, the industry realized the need of having women filmmakers tell their stories. And slowly, we could see a lot of very, very powerful female filmmakers coming and making stories which were very important and the way women are represented. Similarly, I think the industry needs to recognize that they can't have cisgendered men and women telling our stories. They need to empower more queer people, more out and proud people from the LGBTQI community to tell our stories because the way we look at the world the way we look at our stories is very different from how a cisgendered person would look at us. And I think empowerment will only happen when more people from the community are behind the camera and before the camera representing ourselves. That's an amazing thought. And uh, do you see something that bothers you today in, um, I don't want to use the word Bollywood, uh, but in the industry in general, something that, that bothers me. I, I feel that most of the films that gets made, of course, is very different from what was getting made earlier and has moved ahead. But because it's made by cisgendered men and women and not us, I'm always wondering why are the platforms and studios not approaching out and proud queer filmmakers to tell our stories. And it's always the cisgendered people. Mm -hmm. And I feel that because of that, the stories only and very often they just revolve around being accepted mm -hmm. by the cisgendered community. And I'm like, my life is far beyond acceptance of the cisgendered community. If they fail in accepting, mm -hmm. it's their shortcoming. And my life is about celebrating my desire, my love, my stories, my, uh, you know, whatever I'm doing. And I feel that that needs to be projected instead of constantly being validated by the cisgendered. Right. You know, I, I've never seen a film where the focus is about how gay people are trying to understand and accept straight people. Right. So why are all our films only about, you know, straight people trying to struggle and finally accept us? You know, it's their shortcomings that they can't be human enough to do something that is so basic, just accept another person, you know, that they have to go through so much of training and understanding. I don't need to be trained or go through a workshop to understand how to accept and celebrate uh, heterosexual love, mm -hmm. you know. So I feel that focus needs to change. That's, I mean, that's very well put together that, you know, why is it that you are judged and we are not? you know that way um so one uh last rapid fire i would like to play with you just five questions i won't sure. take your time but i wanted to ask you um first sydney or melbourne melbourne <laughs> okay okay my brother nickel or i am my brother nickel mm -hmm. it's my um, first film it'll always be the first Okay, one word um, for what pride means to you. Equal rights. Okay. Uh, favorite color from the rainbow? Uh, black. Okay. <laughs> That's nice. Okay. Uh, favorite film dealing with uh, the community? I mean, that talks about the community. Your favorite <laughs> Uh, there's a lot, but I think I would uh, talk about Bad Education by Pedro Almodova. 
Okay. Okay. Any anything from uh, the Indian films? Uh, from the Indian films, I can only think of mine. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I. That's you know, yes, there is, there is no, there is a South Indian film called Sancharam, okay, which I thought was beautiful. Okay, that's great. And <laughs> so, thank you so much, Honor, for this interview. I think I've had a lovely time talking to you, and uh, we are looking forward to your contribution to my Melbourne. And I'm thank sure you. Everyone in Australia as well is looking forward to that film. Thank you. Thank so you much. so much. Thank you.